Reading with all fans. Tonight we are reading Pete the Cat Goes Camping. Pete is going camping with his family. This is his first camping trip. He can't wait. Camping sounds groovy. Pete and his brother Bob pack the car. They bring food, flashlights, fishing poles, and tents. Don't forget the sleeping bags. That says Dad. He hands them to Pete. It is a long drive to the campsite. Finally, they arrive. Pete's mom and dad set up the tents. Pete and Bob decide Pete and Bob go get deep in the woods. They collect sticks to make the campfire. Pete and Bob decide to go for a hike. Bob shows Pete the footprints of all the animals who live in the forest. They see bear tracks and deer tracks. One set of tracks looks like it belongs to a raccoon. Just then, a bunny hop past. He leaves another set of tracks in the dirt. Pete looks for at a big footprint. Like, you, if you see a huge footprint, it's Bigfoot. Far out, he says. Look how big this is, Bob. I don't know what animal made that, he says. But I bet it's not something we want to run into. and Pete make their way back to the campsite. Their dad is waiting for them. Come on, boys, he says. It's time to catch your dinner. Pete's dad holds up a fishing rod. Who wants to try? Bob doesn't like fishing, he says. He stays at the campsite to get the fire going. Pete wants to try. He and his dad go to the lake. They have to be very quiet so they don't oh, scare away the fish. Finally, Pete feels something tug on his line. He caught something. Pete and his dad bring their catch back to the campsite. That was awesome, Pete says. Look what I caught. Pete's mom takes the fish from him. She cleans it and cooks it over the campfire. It's delicious. Great job, Pete. After dinner, Pete and his family gather around the campfire to keep warm. It's getting dark out. Pete looks up at the sky. He's never seen so many stars before. How about a story? Pete's dad asks. Bob jumps up. I've got one. He shouts. Bob tells Pete and his parents all about a big, hairy giant who lives in the woods. Every night, he prowls the campsites looking for snacks. Bob says, in the morning, all that's left are crumbs and giant footprints. In fact, his feet are so big, they call him Bigfoot. It's time for bed. Pete's dad puts out the fire, and Pete and Bob head to their tent. Pete snugs into his sleeping bag. It's warm and cozy, but he can't sleep. The woods seem extra dark, and the forest is seem extra loud. Suddenly, Pete hears a weird swooshing sound. It sits up and looks around. He sits up and looks around. Bob, Pete says, what is that? Bob opens one eye and listens closely. It's just the wind. 
he says finally. Pete still can't sleep. He hears a strange hooting sound. It's just an owl, Bob says. That makes Pete think of his friend Owl. He starts to feel better, but then he hears a loud chirping sound. It's just a cricket, Bob says. Go to bed, Pete. Pete puts his pillow over his head. Maybe he can hide from the noises. Crack! Pete sits up again. Bob, did you hear that? He asks. Bob, but, but Bob is fast asleep. Pete hears another crack. He listens carefully. Is it Bigfoot? Pete opens the tent and looks around, but it's too dark to see anything. The next morning, Pete is the first one up. He rushes outside and looks around. He doesn't see any broken branches, and there ain't any footprints. Then, Pete sees the table. The s'more he had left for Bigfoot is gone. Each place is a note. It says, thanks for the treat. XOXO. Also for hugs and kisses. And it's stamped with the biggest footprint Pete has ever seen. Pete shows the note to his family. I knew Bigfoot was real, Bob shouts. Pete smiles. He knows now that Bigfoot isn't scary. Just because he looks different doesn't mean Pete should be afraid of him. Pete starts looking for more sticks. He can't wait to make another s'more for his groovy new friend, Bigfoot. I hope you enjoyed this book. Make sure to share and subscribe. Have a great night and be good. Get all A's in school and try your best. Never doubt. And don't rush. Bye.